It, you know, breast self-exam is a really difficult area because um, no one really knows, number one, what the baseline is in terms of patient education. I, I think it is the craziest thing in the world to tell people not to examine their own breasts. It's important for human beings, both men and women, to be comfortable and familiar of what is normal for them so that if things change, you can be the first one to chime in and say, I think this is going on or that is going on or what have you. Almost every single patient that comes into my office, either who has breast cancer or who has not had breast cancer, is at risk, says to me, I don't like doing exams because I never know what I'm feeling. What I turn around and say to them, my answer to that is, Yes, you may be lumpy and bumpy, but those are your normal lumps and bumps which you have to become familiar with so that if you examine yourself once a month, you know, in the shower, whatever is comfortable for you, there is a much higher likelihood that if you develop something new, you will identify that against the background of what's normal for you. And tell them, take a piece of paper, draw a map, draw a face of the clock, say, I feel this thing at 1 o'clock and this thing at 3 o'clock, and that's sort of your map of normalcy for you. And I just don't see that there is any downside that can come of that. Sure, women may present to their doctors more often saying, I think I feel this, I think I feel that. But there's really, just like, again, it's like saying, don't look in the moles on your skin and worry about melanoma. These are, these are you know, basic things that we can do to protect ourselves and to give us the highest likelihood that if something is identified, it's picked up early.